No, don't <laughs> cut it short. <laughs> right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Ch Sachin in the chair. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. You good? Yeah, good yeah, to yeah. see you, mate. So, what are we doing? What's the plan? Um, so, th this has been two years away from growth. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's getting a bit too much now, so I want to cut it back to maybe how it was um, a year ago. Okay, do you have any pictures of what it was yeah. like? Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Or oh, like a, I found one online. Oh, yeah, okay. Something that's cool. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. Okay, yeah, sad. Yeah. Okay. I think I think the other picture, the, the model was probably really good yeah. to, as an idea because just because the shapes are so different on the on your ones, like somewhere like it, one one side, one minute, it's like kind of flatter on one side. So, yeah, so yeah. I think something like that would be quite cool, yeah. man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, man. Yeah, that's I had a lot of time to think about it, yeah. What's that? I had a lot of time to think about it. Okay, that's cool, man. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, all right. I mean, that's, as, that's how easy a consultation can be if you've got, if you, you've actually found a model with your hair type as well. I mean, that is, it, you'd be surprised how many people who kind of bring in a photo that isn't got, hasn't got their hair type. The only thing is, is like, are you sure you want to get rid of it all? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> well, um, I, no, I was just saying. Obviously, it's been so long. It'll be obviously, you know, it looks like a bit of a shame. But I think you're at that point now where you could get away with yeah. going shorter, <laughs> right? Um, how do you find like when it's shorter? How do you find styling it? Is it much easier for you? Do you put any products in or anything to make no, it more curly? Yeah. Just as it is, yeah. yeah even, even now, I just. Um Recently, I've started to tie it back because it kind of gets in my eyes. But okay. Yeah, just usually just leave it. Yeah. All right, cool. Do you, I can just vision the comments now. Everyone going, no, don't <laughs> cut it short. But look, it's not your decision. It's Sachin's. All right. So, all right, man. Yeah. Let's take it back to what it was then. Yeah. Cool. I mean, that, just just to jump in before we start, that that is how easy a consultation can be using a photograph. Because that, that couldn't have been any easier, really. We know exactly what Sachin wants to do. We've seen some shots of what it was like a, a, about a year, wasn't it, you said, yeah? And obviously, the model he's found has pretty much got the same hair type. And it, it, it really does make a big difference because that's how quickly we can get straight into the haircut. We know exactly where we're going with it. We're both on the same page. We know the end result. Sachin definitely knows the end result because he's been there. But it just makes it more clearer for me as well, shape-wise and everything like that as well. So let's get him gowned up and then we'll get straight into it. All right? All right, guys. So I've just... Wet it down. So I'm doing this to the sort of dampness that I need it to be. And I'm going to just work halfway around the head and then re sort of continue the, uh, the horseshoe on the other side once I've started cutting this down. Just because it's so big and so thick, it's just a bit more comfortable for, for Saturn and for me, really, to be honest. So what we can do is just clip that out of his eyes. Don't have to worry about the other side. At least that way it stays a bit more comfortable. So, as you normally know, you would cut curly hair dry. But because I want the finish to be softer and uh, a lot more kind of looser curled, not like kind of sitting in the perfect shape, I'm going to cut it wet, okay? Again, it's each to their own sometimes when it comes to this kind of thing. But uh, the texture and the finish that I want to create, I want to create a bit of a sort of looser curl, softer curl. I'm going quite short anyway, so obviously it's, but I find it slightly be a lot easier to create the finish that I'm going for when the hair's wet. Now look, if anyone is watching this and they're, they're looking and they're screaming at their phone or their, or their iPad or whatever, they go, no, don't cut it. Remember, I did ask him about five times, are you sure you want to do this, okay? So, you know, comment about him, not about me, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Sachin, but I'm, I'm passing it on to you now, mate, okay? Small sections through the back, okay? Now, just because of the length of it, I'm going to use what we'd say like a two-finger width section, okay? As you can see, from the recession to my first section, it's two fingers, okay? Now this, I want this to sit so it's just kind of on the ear. So it's still got a very natural um, finish around the edges. There's no sharpness of the hairline, nothing like that. I want this to sit just nice onto the hairline. Look at that, man. Look at that. <laughs> do you want to keep that for the memories, mate? <laughs> so there's the first cut. Two fingers from the section, so you can do that, do that, just above with the ear, like so. Find our guide. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll do just on the hairline while I'm here. I'm going to cut in the hairline as well. So I'm working around one side to the other. So I'm going to cut this hairline in a little bit as well. Pull it down a little bit. So that not too much tension. I don't want to spring back too much. I just want that to sit. Nice, just over the ears, okay? And the guide. So 
So what's um what was the, the main reason to to kind of grow it then in the first place? Um, yeah, it just, you probably get this a lot, but yeah, it was the pandemic and oh, okay, I just, yeah. Yeah, just gave up. On Did it. you? Wow. So I was quite surprised that I had curly hair. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like before? Like, was it, were you having like skin fades or something? Or? Yeah, skin fades. Wow, yeah. man. Do you reckon you'll ever end up back there, do you think? No, no, I don't think so. No. That part of my life is finished. Is that finished now? Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, and it was quite annoying, you know, every two weeks to... Yeah. Get That's it. I think the shape you're getting cut in today, like that kind of rounded, kind of, or slightly more triangular shape is actually quite nice. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice finish. It looks really good the way it's kind of done. It's got like, um, you know, you've got the kind of naturalness around the edges, quite short, like, you know, sort of shorter back and sides, that longer top. It looks really nice, man. Like really, really cool. A little bit of kale cream in there or something. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get like a nice finish as well. So... That's what's quite nice about this kind of finish is that you do get that kind of like, um, you know, loose natural finish more than anything else, you know? So guys, as I'm getting round to the left-hand side of Sachin's um, head, we've just been working through and cutting it into that kind of um, grown-out, kind of textured finish on the edges. So as you can see, we're working with the kale. So that sits nice and sort of close into the back and sides. And obviously the top is the thing that kind of falls out and moves around and whatever else. But the photos that you showed me. One of, the, one of the best things about working with this type of hair is the kind of natural finish you get on it. You get like a really, I don't know, it just, it's the type of hair that makes it look, especially when it's cut in correctly, it always looks really neat, even though it's got length around the edges. The only thing like mine, where it's kind of straight and, you know, kind of looks a bit longer, for example, I find mine looks quite untidy. But with the curl, when you start to work it in the shape and you see everything symmetrical and you see the curl all forming together and whatnot, it just looks so good. Like it looks really neat. Especially when you tie up the edges and so we'll keep some length in the bottom as well. But um, this is what I like about working with this kind of texture here is that it looks so good even when you leave it natural, which is how we're going to leave it because again, it's meant to be grown out. Um, obviously, we're adding a bit of a taper in there. We're, we're kind of cutting it. It's, it's going to be very hard to make it look exactly like it did, but as long as we can make it look something similar, that's the, that's the kind of guideline, right? That's what we're working towards. Um, and I really like that model kind of haircut that he showed me as well. I thought that really, really suited him. I think the balance of that haircut would be really nice as well. So that's the kind of thing that I'm trying to base the haircut on really is the kind of model picture. That's the main thing. I just want it to be easy for you, mate. That's, I just want you to wake up in the morning, have a little yeah. bit of a, just wake up when you, you know, put a bit of product in and you're yeah. done. Or even just, you know, just, just a bit of conditioner, mate, and that, yeah. that'll be enough. That's the goal. Yeah, indeed, man, indeed. There we go. So I'm just going to start cutting this so it's just sitting around the ears. So having something very natural. You see, just bringing this down, strengthening it up by keeping it nice and blunt, like so. Lift away the hairline and take away this hair because I want this to be very, very natural on the bottom. And the key, key word here is effortless. That's what I'm going with, effortless. I don't want this to look like he's made too much of an effort with it or that it's gonna be hard for, for him to style and also uh, give that same effect as well when it comes to styling. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you got a <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm going to cut this top in so it's got that kind of rounded effect, loose kale, 
coming through. First of all, though, I'm going to cut a lot of this off just freehand, okay? Because it's just getting in the way. We don't need it all. So I'm just going to cut a lot of it off just, just as it is like that, okay? So I'm going to take just straight, like just, just off a little bit here because the back is going a bit shorter. So I'm just going to take a bit off now, okay? Ready for this? Power of these scissors. I'm going to have to get these sharpened after this, I think. There we go. Feel how thick your hair is, mate. Just push into that bit there. The build up. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Cut it down just so it's easier for me to then start working through it. So I'm going to use a bigger comb now. I'm going to wet this down. So how I'm going to do this. I'm going to comb this back like so. As you see, it's coming through fairly easy now. We've got all our hair there. That's just really healthy as well because obviously how short this is now compared to what it was. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a centre part right the way down the head. And take a T section of the crown. So just splitting the, the back into two. One side there, one side there. Finger width sections. So again, we're taking a bit of length off. I'm working this into the side. So what you'll find now, to come this forwards, and I pick it up into the sides. We've got our guide from the bottom, which is here. Just at the tip of my finger. Now, however much I take it off, depending on how much I angle my fingers. So I want to keep as much as I can through the top to start with, okay? So I'm going to pull this straight out and cut on that angle there like that. I want to make that very top heavy so this, as you see, gets shorter and longer as it gets to the top, okay? Using the guy from behind and the guy from underneath. And then, so the top stays nice and heavy. And this will split out into more curl. Pulling this straight out to the side. Like so, using the guy from behind and the guy from underneath. Like that. Not looking to create, to create a fringe or anything like that, I'm looking to create shape and loose curl through the hair. Okay? There's a guide underneath, just there. We go straight up, like so. the guy from the sides. See there's my guy from behind. I'm just connecting in the top. Pick up from the back. And we are triangle the pirate side we want to take off. So I'm going to get a little bit off. Like so. So we're going for a much top heavier finish. So the fringe makes out to be the same length as the top. Cut this horizontally, so we still maintain length at the back into the head shape. Move that round. Another section straight over, like so. So create that nice round shape at the back.
and then cut the horizontally through our fingers as well, like that, to match the top. Just pull a little bit so it's that you may have missed through the comb. Perfect. So you have the top heaviness to it, right? Now, what we're going to do is just going to lean Sachin's head down and lean down for a bit. I just want to thin this out a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come at the root, like so, and I'm just going to point cut all the way through, like so. Now, this looks absolutely mad, but the thickness of Sachin's hair is unbelievable. So just before the crown, should point cut into the root a tiny, tiny bit, okay? And you see hair comes off, but it'll just help to soften up my curl. Because don't forget, on the picture Sachin showed show me of himself, he hasn't had two years of thickness to build up in his hair neither. So obviously curls would be a little bit looser and things like that. So obviously we've got to try and replicate that as best we can. So I'm really loosening up that curl. The good thing about doing it right down the root, you don't see it. So you're kind of working it up into the hair. You don't see the smaller sections coming through. It's very, very minuscule what you're doing. But it just takes away that thickness. I want to take some of the thickness and kind of add some texture into this as well. So I'm going to spin it around my finger and just work it up like that. Okay? Because I want really to bring these curls out. Just sporadically to really make the curls kind of sit a lot more spaced out, a lot more separate. Right, so I'll wet this down a little tiny bit now. Put some kale cream in and then dry in the kale cream. That was amazing, doesn't it, man? So, low speed, high heat. Hold it on. I'm just going to do a little bit of freehand now, just around the bottom, just to take that in a tiny bit. All this is is just me cutting a little bit closer into the ear. It's still sitting nice over it. I'll just show you see a bit more of that top heaviness, like that.
Nice. That's what you think? For the big reveal. Big reveal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I like it, yeah. So it's, it's a shape that I tried to create as best I could. Yeah. But I think this actually suits you, suits you really, really well because yeah, it's got, yeah, yeah. I've still tried to leave like a top heaviness to it, but just something that you can still see movement and texture, but just without that kind of, what, what I think what had happened on your, on the, the picture you showed me from the year, year old was that, it looked to me like it was like a very, very top heavy haircut before that. Yeah. And the sides were just coming out. Whereas now you've got a really balanced haircut. So when you wake up in the morning, shampoo or even just wet it, a bit of conditioner or something, or even a bit of curl cream yeah. and just leave it. Yeah. And I've just put, all I've done is just pulled little bits out just to create yeah. that quite messy finish to it, more than it looking like a perfect circle or perfect sort of um, sphere, you know? Yeah. Wanted it to be a little bit more top heavy, as close to what it was when you uh, show me the picture, yeah, or something yeah. with a bit of your own little, own little spin on it. You happy, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Looks cool, man. Yeah. Bit of a shock, like it must be. Yeah, seeing yeah, your yeah, face. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually have. I'd love to know how much that weighs. <laughs> there we go, man. So yeah, just um, I just tried to cut shaping for you. That'll be easy for yeah. you to manage as well. So yeah, a little bit of curl cream, and that's pretty yeah. much it, mate. It's all kind of cut in. And it's a good base for it to grow out later as well. Hundred percent, yeah, yeah. If you've ever fancy doing something a bit longer, or you fancy, do, you say you miss having longer hair, or yeah. whatever it is, it gives you a little bit of a chance to, to grow out to something else yeah. if you want to as well. Because it is got, it, even though it is top heavy through the middle, it is still balanced everywhere. Else. So you still, obviously, as that grows out, you still have a nice shape to the hair right. as well. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, mate. Thank you, man. That was a hell of a transformation, that man. For real. That was nice. Can't wait to see the before and after. Oh, mate, honestly, I can't. I don't think we could see your face, to be honest. <laughs> I, I think it was like a grand reveal of what you look like as well, to be honest. Well, no, it's amazing. It really is. I think it's just nice that you haven't gone for like a sort of short back and side. Something, you know, you still wanted it to be messier and like, you know, as, as, as it was in that picture, you know, as, well, as best as I could get it like that. But you know what I mean? Like it, it wasn't like a number two back and side. Something. It was actually quite a nice, you know, something a bit different. It was really cool. <laughs> there was an awful lot of hair, man. That is just... Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> we might do. Let's have a little picture of that one. A little video of that.